North Korean dictator ordered a series of large-scale public executions, killing around 80 people. Josh Alexander shared his thoughts about transgender ideology at St. Joseph's Catholic High School in Renfrew, Ontario. And when he showed up to class for the second semester, he was promptly arrested by two police officers. The perpetrators themselves are posting videos of mob attacks on churches. They're showing the church is being burned down. They literally show the police stepping aside out of the, the mob to attack these Christian churches. Nicholas Heald captures his attack on Facebook Live. His body cam. His associate also records. 30 minutes earlier. Jesus Christ is the only way to go to heaven. The street preacher speaks against abortion. The prophet in Daniel 11.33 says this, And the wise among the people shall make many understand, though for some days they shall stumble by sword and flame, by captivity and plunder. If you are truly following Jesus and living out your faith boldly, the world will be against you. The Bible says that the church will face more intense persecution in the end times before Jesus returns. And so we have to be on guard. We have to be ready. We have to finish the race strong, no matter what the cost. And in fullest measure, there will be an anti-Christian bias that will develop. And it will lead to the apprehension and arrest of disciples of Christ and they're being publicly beaten and roughed up and abused and intimidated and whipped and even in places such as where many would gather together. It will be these that the government will come after and arrest them and drag them off and they will stand before governors and kings and the reason will be, Jesus tells us, for my sake. A two-year-old boy along with his whole family was sentenced to life in prison by North Korean authorities. Prisoners are often subjected to beatings, solitary confinement, and starvation. Many people have died in those camps unjustly. The crime? The Christian parents were found with a Bible in their home which is illegal in North Korea and punishable by death. Pastor Elizar Sidhu from Pakistan was shot and wounded by Muslims. This was a week after Islamist slogans were written on his church building. During his attack, one of the assailants pulled out a gun and told him to recite the Islamic Kalima. Pastor Elizar refused and started to recite the Apostles' Creed. And when that happened, the man opened fire on him, resulting in a bullet wound in his upper chest. This next story is truly heartbreaking. In 2017, during Palm Sunday, two suicide bombers attacked two Christian Egyptian churches, killing nearly 40 people and injuring over 100 more. The choir was singing when the bomb went off. The cameras in the church knocked out, but the sounds of chaos and screaming could still be heard. ISIS was quick to claim responsibility for the two suicide attacks on Christian Coptic churches in Egypt. More than 40 worshippers were killed and at least 100 more wounded. Surveillance footage shows the alleged bomber at the second church in Alexandria as he first tried to enter the church gate without going through the metal detectors. As a guard points him back, he detonates. Be strong in the Lord and in the strength of His might. It means He's on our side. We stand firm because we know that we are in reality invincible. We are firm in the great truth that we are at peace with God, therefore God is on our side. All we need is Christ and we can stand against everything Satan has to bring. If God is for us, what's the rest? Who's against us? Verse 31, if He didn't spare His own Son, but delivered Him up for us all, how will He not also with Him freely give us all things? If He gave up His Son for us when we were sinners, what would He withhold from us now that we're saints? Who will separate us from the love of Christ? 
Tribulation, distress, persecution, famine, nakedness, peril, sword, those are all things Paul personally experienced, and they didn't separate him. No, even when we were put to death, as it were, all day long, even when we're considered as sheep to be slaughtered, in all these things we overwhelmingly conquer through Him who loved us. I am convinced that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor any other created thing is able to separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. It is this kind of realization that gives us the security to hold our ground. Although persecution, suffering, and martyrdom happen all around the world to Christians, the gospel of Jesus Christ is our only hope. Jesus Christ suffered the ultimate agony on the cross so that when we suffer here on earth, we know that He will be here for us no matter what. Jesus Christ faced the ultimate darkness on the cross, facing the wrath of God, so that when we go through our dark times, we know that the light of God will shine upon us. Jesus Christ took on hell, death, and sin, and conquered the grave, so that even if we give up our lives for the gospel of Jesus Christ, death will only release us into a sweeter reality of God's love. If you want to be a part of this ministry, subscribe so that we can stand together in the truth of God. Share your comments and thoughts so that we can fellowship together. To Jesus alone be the glory. God bless.